Transformation is an understatement for what's been happening the past two years at the Commons at Helm Library. An alum who helped pick the furniture and finishings recently got a sneak peek inside. I think it came out amazing. You know, there's so many puzzle pieces to create a building like this. So actually seeing the final puzzle is so great to see. It's been a year since Ariel Burkhart helped pick out furniture and finishings for the commons at Helm Library. We've come in with totes full of fabric and spend a full day worth of deciding what fabric is going where. As a student, the 2014 WKU alum was an intern for planning, design and construction. She's now an interior designer for Office Resource Incorporated in Lexington. Whenever I graduated from WKU, and I started working at ORI, I knew there was a possibility I would be designing for Western Kentucky and the fact that I got to do multiple projects now, um, it is so meaningful to me. Now ORI's fun fabric designs are helping tell the story of a unique and reimagined library in the heart of campus. This is a building unlike any other that we have on campus. Um, I think what's really interesting about this building is that we used a lot of the old and mixed it with the new. Designing during the pandemic also brought about some changes. We had to kind of adjust our design. We added some screens placed um, you'll see some more individual tables, some more individual lounge chairs um, to allow the students to be able to space out. I think making these close and maybe making that more in the middle. Yeah. Ariel says her favorite piece of furniture is the Joel chairs. We picked out a plaid fabric um, that we just thought kind of represented what we wanted this building to be, which was, you know, still kind of youthful, but also very classic um, and modern leaving a classic and modern mark on her alma mater. I'm able to kind of come back and still continue to spread some um, design cheer everywhere. The Commons at Helm Library will open later this semester. With this week's View from the Hill, I'm Amy Bingham.